Hello, and welcome to this month's episode of the Commando Way. I'm Airman First Class Brendan Miller, here to tell you what happened in the month of January. I hope you kept your New Year's resolutions because we kept ours. And we've got a story come to you about Ryan Weldon, a Marine veteran who's walking all the way from Delaware to San Francisco to raise awareness for PTSD. My name is Ryan Weldon. I am a uh, United States Marine Corps veteran, and I'm currently walking across the United States in the hopes to raise awareness for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, 22 vets a day take their own life, and as a Marine, that, that just is unacceptable. So that was the drive uh, to get me to, to do this and let people know that you're not alone. You know, there are others that uh, are suffering and struggling and that uh, your life matters. As of the state line of New Mexico from Texas, I hit 3,500 miles. I'm never gonna give this journey up. I'm never gonna stop. Um, until I hit that Pacific Ocean, and then even then, it's never going to stop. I will make sure that every single veteran from every branch of service, every single veteran from the civilian sector of service knows that they're not alone, that their life matters, and that I'm out here fighting for them. Number one, that's it. Gosh, and I complained that the water cooler is too far away to walk from my desk. All right, it's that time again, folks. It's time for another round of Between Two Tumbleweeds. Okay, hi, welcome to uh, Between Two Tumbleweeds. I'm Aaron Miller. Uh, with me today is Chief Master Sergeant Scoot Sandal. Scott Samdahl. And he is going to tell me about... My mom will whoop your tail. Scott Samdahl. Scott Samdahl. Today he's going to tell me what it's like being a chief. Um, actually, before we start, let me just get the elephant out of the room. Um, is, this, is this interview strange feeling for you? Yes. Okay. Um, I think I understand why. You know, looking at me, you're probably thinking, wow, he's like a younger version of myself. Where did all my youth go? Although for me, this is like looking at a stark vision of my future. <sighs> you are a stark vision of my future. You are gonna die. <sighs> you probably will first though, because you're old. I hear you're a Raiders fan. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Um, well, how happy are you that they went to the Super Bowl? They didn't. We got a good draft pick. Yeah. Next year, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Did you ever, uh, as an airman, did you ever just sit there and think, you know, one day, maybe I'll be a chief and I'll no. make a difference in this Air Force? As a maintainer, the, my goal was to be a pro super, Mass Sergeant pro super. Mm. And uh, my wife wouldn't let me get out of the Air Force because she had followed me all over the world. Uh, and when I came home and said I wanted to get out, she said, no, you can test one time. I've suffered so many years, now you're going to suffer, ha ha ha. Your wife probably doesn't sound like that. She probably doesn't Did you just call my wife a witch? You're probably gonna get killed. By? Her. Her. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Magic powers. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the first person. Her magic powers, since she's a witch. You just, Wow. Did you think that my wife drives a broom? No. I, I think you implied that. Does she drive a broom? No. A vacuum? No. Well, uh, I hear that you are a Tennessee volunteer fan. Yes. Okay. Go Vols. Yeah, go Vols. Um, do, you think, uh, do you think it's hard for them to keep a suntan since they're living in the shadow of Alabama? Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you guys hear that? I think the bandwagon just drove The bandwagon? Did you grab on? No, I didn't grab on. I think you did. They, uh, 
You should probably make an appointment in medical for your separated shoulder from grabbing on. Okay. Going by so fast. You got me back. Right. Okay. What's the best thing about being a chief besides doing nothing all day? So the best thing about being a chief is honestly, once you're a chief, people listen. You get the ear of the wing commander and you get the ear of the group commander and the squadron commanders uh, and you can really get stuff done. Uh, normally you're taking the voice of that airman all the way to the top, which is awesome. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I never get asked, hey, what do the chiefs need? It's always, hey, what does the airman need? Right. So well, it's a voice. The airman, this airman needs a new car. There you go. Is that better for you? Yeah. Here you go. <clears throat> Well, uh, Were you just like unprepared? Like, oh you didn't, no! I definitely. Could you imagine if one of my maintainers went out to with a plane a phone? to fix with a phone in their pocket? Would the that would be like that? That's the wings getting in fall trouble. Off? No, the wings wouldn't fall off. It's they could lose it and they could ingest it into an engine. And then the wings would fall off. No, the wings will not fall. It could fall off, I guess. I don't know. The no, engine, they're not going to fall off. Something's going to fall off. Though, Something probably. is going to get ingested. Cost the Air Force a lot of money to fix. And then that airman is going to fall off the face no, of the earth. No, the airman is going to get counseled and learn to be prepared when he's getting ready to do his job. You should take some notes. I see I, more notes, I should say. I have a page full of them. But. Right. Well, uh, really, I, I just want to thank you for your time. And I have something really close to my heart that I'd like to pass on to you. And I, I bought it about less than an hour ago. It's a... Uh, it's a thank you coin. <laughs> it's this thank you coin. Good job. All right, so this is for you. On the back, by the way, it says, appreciation for a job well done. Because you did so great. There you go. Thank you. This is the first time I've ever done this. I've never been coined by an airman. That's. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe that's more awesome. airmen should be this brave. Or that bald. Or this bald. The brave and the bold. The brave and the bald. Well, I think 2016 is off to a fantastic start. Uh, just in case you missed the all call with General Heidhold, we have a video on our YouTube channel that we're going to link somewhere so you can see the whole thing. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And uh, as always, keep doing what you do, Air Commandos, anytime, anyplace.